What I want to show you today is how you can make ornamental borders and frames like this chain border with Illustrator brushes. And in the context of t-shirt designs, you could use Illustrator brushes to make a design like this with the sun or these borders for the Stussy graphic. Same thing about this Billabong graphic, Quiet Life graphic, and you could also use Illustrator brushes to make a checkerboard like this, like this Van shirt. Another thing I want to show you is I have some free rope brushes. These are called rodeo brushes and you can use them to apply rope design to borders or lettering or pretty much anything. You can get this if you sign up for my email newsletter. And I've also got a premium product called Flex Frames that has some pre-made brushes in it and you can use these to apply brush elements to your designs. If you want to make your own brush, here's how you do it. So to make this chain design, let's go back into Illustrator and let's grab our rectangle tool, make a rectangle. And it's a pretty good stroke weight. So what I want to do now is grab our direct selection tool, the white arrow tool, and let's just round that out a little bit. And we'll make a new horizontal stroke. And we're going to select both of these and click vertical align center. And now what we want to do is do a step and repeat. So we want to just take this, copy it, paste in front, command F, and let's just move it to the right. And we can just keep doing that. Command C, command F, command D, which is transform again. So it'll transform at the same amount. C, F, D, command C, F, D, command C, command F, command D. And we have some chain links now. So the next thing I want to do is let's just take all this and scale it down. Zoom in here. You'll see how each of these links has a center point. So if I make my rulers active, that's Command or Control R, and I have my snap and smart guides on, we can just drag a guide over that'll snap to that center line. And we want to do that to the one on the opposite side as well. And what I want to do now is let's turn all these strokes to fills. So let's select everything and go object expand. And now these are all fills. And what we need to do now is let's chop off the edge of this, of this chain so we can get it into repeat. So there's a couple ways to do this. I'll just show you one way. Let's draw a rectangle over it, just make it white. And then let's drag a copy of that over so that it snaps on that opposite guide. Now we can select everything and click merge and then double click on it to isolate it. And then just select some of the black and go select same fill color and then select inverse to get rid of the white boxes on the edges and also the little donut hole paths. And so now we just have this chain link and we can go into our brushes window, which is window brushes and just drag it in there. We're going to make it a pattern brush, click OK and click OK again. Now let's deselect this chain link and we'll zoom out a bit and I can make a circle and now I can just apply that chain link to that circle. You can also do the same thing with a rounded rectangle so we can make rounded rectangle and apply the chain link to it. And the other thing that's nice about these Illustrator brushes is you can change your stroke weight and you could put a lot more links on it like that. You know, if you go too big with the stroke, it'll, it'll get weird sometimes. So just keep that in mind and keep your brush a proper scale for your design. But that's how to make ornamental borders with Illustrator brushes.